Good afternoon. This is Deb Allen for the New York Times. It's a beautiful day for a crossword. Let's play two.、Uh, welcome back. We are solving today's crossword by Joanne Sullivan.、Uh, it's a really fun one today.、Uh, we're going to find some hidden elements in the puzzle that you, in places you would not expect to see them.、Uh, Please、uh, pull up a chair and help me solve this thing. I bet we can crush this in under an hour.、Um, let's see. We've got、uh, a couple of things here. What I like to do on a Thursday is I like to scroll through the comments. I'm sorry, through the clues, and see whether I can do any of the fill in the blank clues first because they tend to be the easiest. For example. Uh, for me, it's all about food. So, forty-eight across is blank diavolo, and it says sauce in there.、Um, the uh, the answer to that is fra diavolo, which is、uh, fra diavolo. I believe it's a spicy、uh, sauce that you put on pasta.、Um, we've got、uh, some others here. Sixty across is Napoleonic era. I'm going to put that one in. Uh, let's see.、Uh, what else can we go?、Uh, Martha Page and Andrea Copperpot say that one across is nosy. Let's take a look and see if that's right. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me、uh, go back up. Is this?、Uh, can everybody see the、uh, crossword? I accidentally、uh, scrolled a little bit. Given to eavesdropping. One across is given to ease dropping, so I think you're right about that. I'm going to put in nosy for one across.、Uh, Chunny Nay says sixty across is law. Let's take a look at that one. Sixty、uh, across.、Uh, Napoleonic law、um, could be. We would have to solve the crossings. Let's see if there's anything we can、uh, do. E procedure. Well, I happen to know that one. That is Sheila E, the well-known percussionist from the 1980s. So, since we can confirm the crossings, I, it's not really law. It's probably going to be era.、Um, Natalie Ramirez says 32 across is viva. Let's take a look and see what we've got for that. Viva la vida. All right, that sounds right to me. Viva la vida. Oops, sorry, I'm doing the ups. I mean, I'm doing the downs. Viva la vida.、Um, Laurel had、uh, Martha Page says four down is y'all.、Uh, we don't really have enough、uh, boxes for that. We have three boxes, and the clue is haute couture initials, abbreviated. So I think that's. Eve Saint Laurent or YSL.、Um, let's see. Mark Stench, the second says five down is Defoe. Let's take a look at that one. Actor Willem, it, you're right. It's Willem Defoe.、Uh, look at this. We've already got a good start going. Keep keep those clues coming to me, guys.、Um, Mike Duran said this one was tricky, especially. Well, yes, the the new iOS update did keep crashing, but I just want to let everybody know that、uh, the tech team really got on that, and they released version two point seven three, which has fixed the crash. So please feel free to solve again. Zara Stambol says sixty one is Akira Kurosawa. Let's take a look.、Uh, Director Kurosawa, you're right, Akira. Those are easy ones to.、Uh, Salt into the grid at first because your mind fills in the blank. Ram Rubin John says twenty two across it. Well, generally there aren't any、um, two letter words in American style crossword puzzles. So、uh, what we really have here is a four letter, a four letter entry. Google blank. And I'm going to bet that that's Google Maps because that's four letters, and we can we can go back. Joe Hannes says thirty is Yoshi. Let's take a look at that. The Nintendo dinosaur. Yes, thank God I actually have two teenagers at home who、uh, help me out with that one, and there is absolutely no law against that. I do not consider that cheating to have to bring in people who know things that you don't. Uh, fine point is n something 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 y.、Uh, 
Um, I think that's a nicety. If somebody makes a fine point, it's a nicety. Um, two down, cry from a Veronese lover. Oh, Romeo, and we just, we just finished that. If you were watching before, Matt Negrin and I did a live reading of our Twitter breakup exchange. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Lisa Nagel Hollenbeck, and please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your names or I'm skipping over you. The, the, uh, the comments come very quickly. Uh, 22 across. Well, we've already gotten Google Maps. Let's see. In Flanders, Fields Poet is, and we can prove that by uh, doing the crossings. In Flanders, Fields Poet is John McRae. Um, Annie Bell says, Nine Down is Creek. You guys are really, really rocking this. My goodness. Look at all these things coming in. Um... Megan Lisa says 25 across. 25 across is Jack. Nacho Libre star of 2006 was indeed Jack. But whoops, sorry about that. Here, let's put that back in. Where's his last name? I don't understand that. Maybe we'll find it. Um, let's see. Andrew Martinez says 36 across is gold. Let's take a look. 36 across. First place is gold. Well, you know what? It fits, but the, here's the problem. If we have Viva here, there aren't too many words or phrases that begin with VG. So I'm a little, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's gold. I do know, I remember this 1990 hit by Alana Miles, um, it was called Black Velvet. So, for some reason, and I'm not quite sure what it is yet, we can only type in velvet. Um, maybe that has something to do with this black square. Do you guys think this has something to do with this black square? Fredo Fredo agrees with me that 25 across is Jack Black. And look at this. We have a black square right next to that. Maybe that is part of the theme. Um, so if we consider this Jack Black, and black velvet, maybe what Joanne Sullivan has done today is hidden the second part of our theme entries under the black squares. How cool is that? Uh, Yasid Reyes says 11 down is Aristide, former Haitian president. That would be correct. Aristide. Oops, sorry about that. Um, what else? Uh, Maria Jose Moreno says 37 down is time. Let's take a look. Tempo, time, could be. Let's take a look. 1966 roll, number one Rolling Stones hit. Well, if we go along with the theme, which is that the word black is hidden under the black squares themselves, the the only Rolling Stones hit I know of was Paint It Black that had the word black in it. So let's try that. Paint it. Oops. And look at that. We've got a black square there. So here it is. Paint it black. That means that this square has to be the beginning of 45 down and it has to be black something. Let's take a look. 1970, 60s, 70s, radical, black, that's got to be panther. Oops, sorry, I keep forgetting that this skips. There you go. Um, Sheila Dib says something, oh, sorry, I just missed that, that scrolled up. Um, Sharifa Nib says something is black top or black tar. You guys are scrolling. You guys are so smart, and you're sending in so many comments. I'm having a hard time reading it. Um, let's see. Uh, Faith Facilis is 27 across is top. Whoop. Driveway covering, as in, you're right, black top or black tar. It could be black tar. Let's see. High as a guess. I would say that that's over. And 29 down, frittata equipment, P-A blank blank. I would say that's pans. So yes, blacktop is correct. Um, 
Let's see. People are agreeing with me that Black Panther is correct. AJ Shinoy uh, says 41 is mailers. Let's take a look. People holding on to secret. You're right. Here, here's the black square. And people who hold on to secrets are blackmailers. So you are absolutely correct. Let's put that in there. Let's see if we can finish up this little min middle part. Biblical region from which the name of a language is derived. That would be Aram, and that is where our, oopsie, sorry, Aram, that is where Armenian is derived from. Elf's foe. You need to get to know your Tolkien characters, and in this case, it's a very common crossword entry, and the elf's foe would be an orc. And how about this one? 35 across, where waves come in. Now, you got that question mark. And remember, I've said this before. Question mark clues mean that something special is up. And so we could be talking about the waves of an ocean or the waves in a lake. But that doesn't fit. We have blank AR. So what other kinds of waves can you think of? How about sound waves? Does that make sense? There are sound waves that come in, and they come in through to the ear. Um, Ryan Kelly agrees with me. Saluz agrees with me. Julie Mosley agrees with me that it's orc. Patamwadi Tansakul agrees that it's orc. Uh, Joao wants me to scroll down a little bit. Scroll down the clues or the, or the grid in general? Are you guys having trouble seeing it? Um... Lori Lawner, let's play. Come join us and come solve with us. Nathaniel Antonio says seven down is Meet Joe. And that would be the 1998 film, Brad Pitt film, Meet Joe Black. How cool is that? Uh, Nathaniel Antonio, yep, terrific. Sharifa Nib says Meet, meet Joe Black. Uh, Prashan. Ramesh says 12 down is Mel. Let's see, 12 down. The man's name that's Latin for honey. That makes, Mel, Mel makes sense because Miel is, is honey in French. So I would say that that's probably a good bet. Let's see if we can finish up this corner. 10 down, product from soot. Not quite sure yet, but it ends in a P. Uh, C in shop class, there's that question mark again. Um, let's see, a C in shop class would be not the grade, although that's entirely possible too, but there's such a thing as a C clamp. So let's put that in. Uh, 16 across, like perfect games vis-a-vis -vis no hitters. Well, they're certainly rarer, so let's put that in. Oops. And post with many rules. Um, well, let's see, we've got, let's see, to rest open is to pry, and oh, I get this, it's not a, a post on a blog, and it's not a physical wooden post, it's Emily post, because Emily had a lot of rules. Um, a lot of people are agreeing with me about clamp. Deborah Dopp says 19 across is Emily. And yes, thank you. We got that. Um, let's see. Mike Lee says he's busy, so let's not bother him. But, you know, maybe you'll come back to the puzzle later, Mike. Um, Ron Rubin John says 24 down is the new black. Let's take a look at that. 24 down. What orange is said to be? Absolutely. One of my favorite shows on television, The New, and we've got that black square. Uh, Tammy Wright Plater and Ronald Shore agree with me that uh, Emily Post is correct. Krista Bell says 21 across is foot for Blackfoot Indians. Let's see. Uh, hmm. 21 across says manner. Um, one rushing to work for short. That's weird. Uh, I don't, I don't see a clue that says 
foot for there, but let's see if we can solve other a couple of other clues and, and fit that one in. Cry made repeatedly while slapping the forehead. We've all done this while trying to solve the New York Times crossword. The answer is dumb. But hopefully the more you solve, the, the less often you have to do that. There's an app for that. Uh, starting with a U, four letters. I'm going to bet that that's Uber, the, uh, the taxi app. Crispy Lunch and Big Brother's Victim Once. That's got to be BLT. And the answer here is Feet, Montana Indians. So it was actually 18 across, uh, but yes, you're correct. Blackfeet were, is a Montana Indian tribe. Um, Mercy Fernandez says 34 down is Eiffel. Let's take a look for that. Gustav with a tower named after him. You're correct. Gustav Eiffel is uh, the person for whom the Eiffel Tower is named. And look at this, we are killing it. We are gonna get this done, no problem. Carefully avoids with a round. We don't have enough for that yet, so let's take a look at some of the crossings. Gets to. If somebody gets to you, they probably irk you. Irks. Let's see about this. Jet. Um, well, jet is like an airplane, but another form of jet is a color. And that would probably be coal black. So we've got coal black and black feet. And since this square is meant to represent black, let's see what 21 down is. Italian fascist. Well, there was a segment of the fascists that were called black shirts, and that definitely seems to fit. So let's see what else we've got here. One who rushing to work for short. Um, Timothy Murphy says 20 across is EMT. Ha ha. Yep, it's a pretty funny clue. Somebody who rushes to work is definitely uh, an EMT. And a lot of you are writing in to say that 23 across what babies do in their first two years is teeth. And that's correct. So the top half of the puzzle is done, guys. Let's move on. Uh, let's see if we can grab this one. This is a really long one. Obsession. Don't really have, don't really have enough for that yet. Uh, let's see. Here, let's, let's finish this section. Part of a battle cry. Um, I think I know what that is. Let's check it. Many a metrosexual. Well, you're going to see this word in crosswords a lot. It's kind of an outdated word, but I like it. I think it's kind of a cool word, and that would be fop. Somebody who fusses about their appearance a lot. And that means that 54 across, ingredient in some chilies and burritos, well, that could be a bean. Um, in this case, because we know that the, the new black is here, it would be black bean. And that means that the war cry, is part of the war cry would be Torah, as in Torah, Torah, Torah. Um... Katja Centello says 23 across his teeth. We've got that. Thank you. A lot of people are agreeing with skates. And uh, I, do, I do know that the uh, Facebook Live app does lag a little bit, so please forgive me for being ahead. Uh, Julie Mosley would like us to zoom out. Uh, Julie, I can't do that on this, but you can um, pinch your screen together a little bit to make it smaller or turn your device sideways so that you can see everything. Uh, Nathaniel Antonio says 39 down is idyllic. Let's see. The clue for that is obsession. Um, idyllic is an adjective, and obsession, the clue, is a noun. So, unfortunately, there's a rule in crosswords that says that you have to match up your tenses. Plus, I'm not really sure that obsession means idyllic, but, um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um... What else? You guys are saying 54 is blast. Let's take a look at that. 54. Really good time. Yep. I think that uh, that's definitely blast. And I hope you guys are having a blast because I know I am. 
Fifty six across when leaves fifty six across. That's kind of like an inception clue.、Uh, the leaves fall when they when it's fall. So let's put that one in.、Uh, here we go. Fifty seven down. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Witchcraft could be I don't know something A R. Thirty、uh, seven down. Tempo.、Uh, somebody had suggested time before. Um, I think that in this case it's pace. Puya Panth says, "Why can't I print?"、Uh, you know what, Puya? That's a technical question that I can't answer for you. But if you write to、um, if you write to the technical team on the feedback form on our main puzzle page, they will be able to help you. Uh, okay, scrolling the puzzle down so you can see the. The bottom part is that better? Or can't see the last row of the puzzle? It's, that would be scrolling up. How's that? Is that better?、Um, a lot of people think. And Nancy, Nina Brioche says, "Thanks, first time I was right." You know what, Nina? The more you solve, the more you'll get right.、Um, arts. People are suggesting that I think you're referring to witchcraft. Is definitely it's one of the dark arts. Oops, sorry about that. Arts. There you go. That looks like it fits. Okay, so let's see if we can finish up this section. Comments from ones who are all thumbs.、Um, well, people who are all thumbs could be klutzy, but in this case, people who use their thumbs are texters. So the comments from ones who are all thumbs would be texts. Uh, Christabel says that's better. Terrific, thank you. I I can't see what you guys are seeing, so I I rely on you to、uh, let me know if you can see the picture. Okay.、Uh, Jean Mitchell says sixty two down is keg. Let's take a look. Sixty two down. Gunpowder holder. Yes, gunpowder is held in a keg. Um, here's one that I thought was pretty funny.、Uh, 61 down took in is eight because if you take in food, you are eating. Then we have 68 across, which means cast out, ingest. So taking the food in and casting it out <laughs> are, are connected. Which I don't know. Maybe maybe I need more hobbies, but that that entertained me. Uh, forty-three across second.、Um, not really sure what that would be yet. Thirty-eight down, like an atrium.、Um, well, atriums are very spacey and airy, so let's try airy and see if that works.、Um, let's see, football players application. There aren't too many words. That start with an e and a y, other than i, and I think that their application is eye black, right? Isn't that what football players put on, put under their eyes when they play eye black?、Um, and we have eye black and black bean here.、Um, let's see. Muri Abraham Polichek says sixty three down is ska. Let's take a look. Some music of the whalers, absolutely. That's ska music. So let's put that in there. I want to finish this part. We're almost done here. A second.、Uh, let's see. A second. If you think of a second as somebody who is like an assistant,、uh, that would be an aide. And J follower would be just like our E preceder over here would be J crew. And so the answer to obsession is idea fixe, which is French for a fixed idea or an obsession. Look at that. Okay, we just have this one little、uh, corner left here. You guys, we can do this. Forty-nine、uh, across essays. Well, I think that people who essay things test them. So let's put that in.、Um, it might have a great street name abbreviation. Not really sure what that would be yet.、Uh, Louise Hutubesi says fifty-one is tarsal. Let's see, fifty-one. Here we go. Set of ankle bones.、Um, well, the set of ankle bones is now a noun phrase. Tarsal is an adjectival phrase. So once again, I'm just going to remind you that the tenses have to 
match up. So I think you're right that it's, whoops, the tarsus, uh, but the tarsus would be the noun phrase. So I'm going to put that in. People are agreeing with me on J. Crew and tests. Bethany Odette says 63 across is shoe. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Person whose work shines. Okay. Well, it's not the answer isn't shoe, or at least not the whole answer. The answer would be shoe black. Because remember, we're incorporating the black square here. That means this answer, 64 across, has to start with the word black. So it's black something. And to ban somebody is to blacklist them. Wow, I like the way this puzzle is shaping up, don't you guys? Uh, 59 down, bygone days. Not really sure what that would be, but let's take a look. Flooring calculation. Uh, well, if you're, if you're thinking of getting new flooring or new carpeting, the first thing they're going to ask you is, what is the area? Uh, Pavel Farin agrees with me. Patty Sutton says 52 down is states. Let's take a look. Uh, 52 down, California and Baja, California. You are correct. Awesome. Good for you, Patty. Um, we're almost done. Let's see if we can finish this one up. 64 down. Reduced weight. Here's a funny one. Question mark clue. So reduced weight could mean dieting, but the question mark says this is not quite what you think it means. Reduced in this case means shortened or abbreviated. So if you were to take a weight measurement and reduce it, it probably would be pounds or LBS. Um, Nagayan, Vinson, and Faith Facillo both say 59 down is your bygone days. Okay, I'll buy that. Let's put that in. Uh, what else? Um, somebody says, Nico Flynn says 64 down is pounds, across is blue. Yep, we got that. A lot of people are agreeing with me on your. Uh, Nina Breach says 59 is doom. Let's take a look at that. 59, well, <laughs> bygone days, uh, we haven't been doomed yet, so let's, let's, let's move on. I, I'm pretty sure this is your. It makes a lot of sense, and let's prove it with another, another uh, crossing. Bygone Broadway critic Walter, that was Walter Kerr, or Carr. Um, words sometimes followed by it's nothing, uh, something that, uh, let's see if we can get this, 42 down, solvent, not quite sure, Olivier Belanger says 58 across is type, let's take a look, 58 across, info for a dating site, this one gobsmacked me, guys. Can you tell me, do they really ask for your type on a dating site? Like, I like tall blondes kind of a thing. Is that, is that really a thing? Uh, a lot of people are agreeing on type. Uh, Juan Flores is 55 down is opera. Let's take a look at that. 55 down, Grammy category. Yep, there is definitely a Grammy category for opera. Um... Let's see, it might have a street name, E, I would say that might be a short for envelope. What do you guys think? Should we put that in? And then solvent. Oh, I get it. This is 55 across, the word sometimes followed by it's nothing is oh that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's uh, put that back up again. Um, I typed in the last letter here. The answer is words sometimes followed by nothing. Oh, that. And, uh, yep, Manuel uh, Ammer agrees with me. Patty Price O'Toole agrees with me. And 42 down... As Stephanie Crow says, is in the black. And because the if you are, sol I was thinking of a liquid or chemical solvent, but if you are solvent, you are in the black as opposed to in the red. Look at that, guys. We finished it. 
Tammy Wright Plater agrees. Faith Facillo agrees. Um, Sarah Munch says that's two words. But you know what? You can have two words. You can have entire phrases in a puzzle. Um, I, I think this was a lot of fun, don't you? I, I really applause to Joanne Sol Sullivan for creating this for us. We have, once again, we have the uh, word black hidden under the black squares. So we have coal black and black feet and black shirt, uh, jack black, lamp black, black top and black velvet, uh, painted black, black mailers, Meet Joe Black, Black Panther, uh, let's see, I Black, The New Black, Black Bean, and Black Art. Oh, that's right, Black Arts. Um, what else? We had the Shoe Black, Black List, and In the Black. That was a fun puzzle. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we are planning to do this every Thursday around lunchtime. And uh, you guys are terrific solvers. Um, Sarah Hosni asks, can you explain lamp black? Um, that's a, that's, a, let's see. Let me see if I can explain lamp black. I think that that was something made out of soot that was used to darken things. Um, I hope that helps. But we do this every Thursday around lunchtime, and I hope you will continue to join me. Tell your friends. And uh, for more tips and tricks about how to become a better solver and uh, conquer the, U the New York Times uh, crossword puzzle, please read my column, Wordplay. We have a lot of people there who um, a very large like-minded community that loves to solve, loves to joke around, and we love to help people uh, get better at solving. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next week. Enjoy and keep on solving.